Hello, in this video we look at the Cauchy mean value theorem, which is often just called the general mean value theorem. Let, let f and g be continuous functions on the closed interval a to b and differentiable on the open interval a to b, then there exists a point c in this interval such that this relationship is true. And we will prove that. So if a equals or f of a equals f of b. So this piece right here. So that that's actually so that makes this side zero. Then by the Rolle's theorem, there exists a c in a b such that the derivative of f evaluated at c is zero. So this side is zero. Well then but well that satisfies the theorem. And you can also say this is true if g of a is equal to g of b. So that's sort of one of the trivial parts to proving the Cauchy mean value theorem. So let's assume that g of a is not equal to, to g of b. Then let's define this function here, h of x, like this. A few notes. If you plug in h of a, so plug in a here, that means put it here and put it here, which we do, then this can be simplified to this expression. And this exact expression is not super relevant right now. And then if we plug in h of b to this function, you plug it in here and here, so that's what this is, you can show that it simplifies to this expression. But these are the same. So that shows that h of a and h of b are identical. And the second note is that f and g are continuous, so that means h is continuous. So here, you know, this is a constant, and so you have a continuous function, continuous function by definition, sum of continuous functions is continuous. Since f and g are differentiable, h is differentiable. The sum of differentiable functions is differentiable. So now the first three notes implies or shows that H satisfies Rolle's theorem. So that means that there exists a C in that interval A to B such that the derivative of H is zero. That's Rolle's theorem. And I have a video out called Rolle's theorem. So the derivative of H of C is zero. But we can take the derivative of h, and that's the derivative of f, and this is a constant, so then the derivative of g, you know, evaluated at c, which is this. Now if we subtract this to the other side and multiply by the, uh, the g, of, g of b minus g of a, we get this expression, and that's what we wanted to show. We, that's what we wanted to prove. So we're finished. Well, that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.